I worked out six hours a day, every day, for the last 20 years straight. I mean, anybody could do it, right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I've, I've gotten into to hot yoga. Personally, I think Kevin Hart is one of the funniest men in Hollywood at the moment. Whether you guys agree or not, he's doing well for himself, that's for sure. We know that the new Jumanji movie is coming out next month, and if it's anything like the last one, Kevin will be hilarious in it. Kevin is a stand-up comedian, actor, and producer, and he's 40 years old at the time of this recording. We also know that he has a beautiful wife, Aniko, who he has one child with, and three children from his past marriage. Although they were the victim of a pretty nasty robbery in the past, the family apparently has a gorgeous place in LA that they call home at the moment. We know that Kevin has faced some controversy in the tabloids before and not everything has been picture perfect for the couple. Despite Kevin's scandals a while back, it seems like him and his wife have made it work together and he's become a changed man. At the beginning of September this year, Kevin also faced a life-threatening car crash. He opened up stating, I could not effing move. I could not wipe my ass. I literally couldn't do none of that. It makes you realize you really are helpless. First and foremost, I thank God because I definitely don't have to be here. Being that I am, it makes me appreciate life even more. It makes me appreciate the things that really matter, family. I want to thank my wife, my kids, who really stepped up to the plate for me. So besides some unfortunate events that the actor faced, he seems to be more grateful these days than ever. Kevin has 81.2 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording, and his net worth is estimated at around 150 million. He's considered one of the richest comedians in the world. Let's just start here. There's no real way to ease into it, so I just gotta go for it, okay? That being said, today we'll be focusing on Kevin's successes and more importantly, his real estate. I can't bitch about the bill. Reason why I can't bitch about the bill, because he didn't bitch about the bill. So I said, you know what? I started talking to myself. I said, Kev, just pay the bill. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at where Kevin Hart and his family call home, including his previous house that was robbed, his tiny house in New York, and what we know about his current mansion in Calabasas. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Will Smith and on Cardi B, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First off, we'll take a look at the gorgeous spot that Kevin used to call home. Located in Tarzana, California, more specifically the Mulholland Park area, Kevin purchased this home in 2012 for just under two million and lived there for seven years. This home is a two-story mansion that has over 6,500 square feet of living space, seven bedrooms, and seven bathrooms. The front entryway is super fancy and has two winding staircases on either side, as well as a two-story main living room, complete with a floor-to-ceiling fireplace. Also on the ground floor of this house sits the kitchen, the dining room that offers a large window and view of the yard, as well as a bonus room, whatever that is. Moving upstairs, you'll find most of the bedrooms, and the master suite in this place has its own wing. This room has its own fireplace, a giant master bathroom, a private balcony, and I'm sure a pretty impressive walk-in closet. In the backyard, there's a gorgeous pool and spa complete with a fountain as well as a bar and grill. At the front of the house, there are two garages facing each other which complete the fancy entry and driveway. Kevin sold this house for $2.75 million some months back and turned a profit, but apparently it went back on the market for over $3 million this time around. I'm sure that the robbery back in 2016 affected Kevin's decision to sell this beautiful home. I mean, the man was taken for half a mil worth of jewelry, watches, and clothes. Uh, I was talking to Kevin Hart recently, and he for was what? complaining <laughs> to borrow some money. <laughs> Even though this mansion was in a gated community with two security gates, the robbers managed to break in through the back door while Kevin was away in Miami. You can play that off. Now let's look at one of the places Kevin does currently own, and believe it or not, it's a tiny house. I can't say that I know too many celebrities who have one of these. Kevin said about this place, I'm a tiny individual. I like my comfort to be where I can access everything the way I like to access everything. Which I guess makes sense considering Kevin stands at about 5'3". 
Tiny houses are a big trend. They're a big trend, especially for people like myself that enjoy them. Kevin's tiny house is now permanently located in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, and it's actually available to rent for $175 a night. If you're cool with pics of Kevin everywhere, you should definitely check it out. Kevin's tiny home was a partnership with Booking.com and it's in the neighborhood of Tiny Estates, which is actually the world's biggest community of tiny homes. From photos, you can see that even though the place is only 268 square feet, it has all the necessary amenities for living. There's a full-size bed in a loft area of the house, a small kitchenette, a cozy living room with a couch, a fully stocked bar cart, and of course a bathroom. It even has a shower. <laughs> I really doubt Kevin stays here that often, but I still think it's a pretty cool concept. I might feel a little bit claustrophobic in a tiny house though. What about you guys? You know when you're scared how you start to mentally create shit in your own mind. Finally, moving on to Kevin's current mansion in Calabasas, which we actually don't know that much about. According to property records, way back in 2015, Mr. Hart dropped $1.35 million on a plot of land in an exclusive Calabasas gated community which spanned 26 acres. You can see the land he bought in aerial views. In spring of 2017, Kevin started building his dream home here which was to be 9,623 square feet and two stories. Apparently the main structure set him back just under 2 mil, but in total the Spanish style mansion cost him about 5 million. Don't act like I'm crazy. I don't know the exact details or floor plan of the house, but I'm sure for the price he spent on creating it, the home has plenty of bedrooms, bathrooms, and features. Oh my God. Oh my God. In my mind, I thought the worst. On Kevin's Instagram, he has shared some glimpses into his living room and kitchen, for example, so you can get a bit of an idea about the design. He does have a garage that's over 900 square feet, which gives him more than enough space for his fancy rides. The pool house is built above the garage and is 250 square feet. We do know what the yard and pool look like, though. Clearly, there's a giant swimming pool that Kevin loves to show off, and there's a spa in the center of it. There are also some gorgeous views. There's also room for sports in the backyard and a complete volleyball court. Not to mention an indoor-outdoor gym which is located in a cabana on the property. Kevin and his wife work out here and we know that Kevin likes to share his workouts on the gram. Seven, Seven eight. eight. You did not ask me what I count. Eight. Five. You didn't say what eight. I count. Five. Now, I can't blame Kevin for not sharing the details of his new mega mansion. I mean, after a crazy robbery like the one he went through, it would definitely be in his best interest to keep this home private and safe. Get out of that nastiness. But those are the things we do know about where the comedian is living these days, and by the looks of it, it's pretty fancy. So now we've seen Kevin's previous estate that got broken into once upon a time, his tiny home, and whatever we could find about his current mansion in Calabasas. Even though we don't know much about his new place, it seems like it's a dream home Kevin has been investing in for a few years now. I don't think he's spent anything from like the money that he's made. I'm not sure if Kevin owns any more real estate, but he's definitely super successful. If you guys know of any homes that I missed, let me know in the comments. That's my house too, Gail. I pay the bills in that house. It's my house too, I'm coming home. Which is, which is where I belong, girl. I do wish that Kevin showed off a little bit more of his current family home, like the bedrooms and the interior, but we gotta respect the man's privacy. At least we know what the yard and the giant pool look like. Okay guys, now I'll be reading out some of your comments from previous videos. These are from our recent Will Smith house tour. King Lolita said about the home, their mansion is so tranquil, it's a great family home for people of their stature to feel at home, but also at peace. I agree King Lolita, I think that the house is somehow relaxing, even though the place is extremely huge. Sparkle Hughes said, Hawaii has a lot of bugs. I live here. I wonder if that's why Will and Jada sold their mansion in Hawaii because of the bugs. I can't say I'm a fan of bugs either. Even though I've been to Hawaii once, I don't really remember that too well, but I can imagine. And finally, Miss Inspiration said, Will Smith has such a positive personality and good energy. His house is a home and definitely not over the top. Love all of it. Well, thanks for the feedback, guys. I'm glad to see so many of you like the Smith family home. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Kevin Hart's homes. What do you guys think about his real estate? Since there's not too much I could find on his current mansion, let me know down in the comments if you guys know anything that I missed. And let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more, and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!